Thank you, Doctor. Uh, Assalamualaikum and salam uh, sejahtera. Good morning to respective panels and uh, panel of reviewers and all participants. I'm Mariani. I'm from Faculty of Dentistry, University of Malaya. And my presentation is entitled uh, Embracing Digital Challenges in Online Disability Equality Training, EDET, for dental students. Uh, these are my group members, uh, Dr. Azlida, uh, Mr. Fridaus, and also Dr. Lili Azura. So as an introduction, people with disabilities have high prevalence in dental diseases, such as high dental caries, poor dental hygiene, and also high prevalence in periodontal or gum disease. Waltman and Pullman also reported that dental care to people with disability or PWD such a low priority due to these five factors. And clearly these fa problems uh, revolves around lack of uh, awareness, experience, and knowledge about disability. And ensuring a priority of dental services to people with disability, uh, SCD or special care dentistry uh, has been introduced in Malaysia since 2011 as the latest dental specialty in Malaysia to cater to those with disabilities and complex medical conditions and requirements. And it is imperative that the management in SCD, not just involving theoretical knowledge, clinical skills, but also having, having empathy and good attitude, uh, which are some of the many important attributes for future dentists to be able to manage SCD patients. SCD is an integrated module under general dental practice course in the undergraduate dental curriculum. And these are the CLO for, course, uh, for the course involved. And students should be able to manage people with disabilities at some level in their dental training. And these teaching activities in SCD not just involve lectures, clinical lessons, but also involving uh, disability equality training or DET. Now, focusing on DET, this, this training has been uh, conducted by other courses or other um, uh, government and non-government organization and it is commonly uh, to promote disability awareness and uh, DAT is conducted by people with disability themselves who are trained as a certified DAT trainer and the DAT has been conducted mostly face-to-face -face with group active uh, group activities active engagement with the students uh, this is uh, done to encourage students' self-reflection and awareness towards disability. And it's usually conducted as a one-day event or more. And some activities in DET include disability simulation exercise, for example, using the blindfold, uh, students use the wheelchair or walking stick and uh, outside the classroom. Unfortunately, when the COVID-19 uh, pandemic hit us, DET trainers and um, Lecturers were stuck with limited alternatives and we need drastic change in the methods of teaching. <clears throat> How do we turn all these activities online? As we all know, often during online lectures, um, <clears throat> students will not cooperate when questions were asked and they will turn off their camera and microphone for the rest of the session unless being called up to answer. So that's when we decided to develop EDET in order to shift a conventional DET method to an e-learning whilst matching the right activities using appropriate online digital tools. <clears throat> So it is imperative that EDET should be maintained as part of the course in uh, the third year dental clinical dental students. And essentially the training must be interactive uh, that ensures uh, active students participation and engagement and increase their awareness towards people with disabilities as well as promote positive attitudes towards SCD patients in the clinic. For this study, we aim to develop and implement new EDT module, uh, followed by assessment of the dental students' knowledge and feedback. This study embarks on the following objectives. Uh, first, to redesign DET and implement EDT for undergraduate dental students, then assess the students' knowledge about disability and followed by exploring the students' feedback based on, uh, based on their learning experience. So moving to materials and method, this study received ethical approval from the UM Medical Ethics Committee. And this project was divided into three uh, phases uh, or stage. Uh, uh, first stage is need analysis, analysis involving uh, identification of the gaps between the actual and the desired knowledge. 
uh, skills and attitude to ensure that the best methods that would encourage students' engagement. And this was done by reviewing the literature, teaching resources in DET, as well as previous data on the students' feedback. And stage two in project development and implementation, uh, this phase involves a development of a structured framework of EDT components guided by a DET trainer who helped in the development of a facilitator's guidebook. And this book used as a reference for all facilitators during this session. And uh, in stage three is when we assess and evaluate the overall training program. So 51 year three dental students were included and the students timetable for semester 2.1 were identified with all the dates for all the three EDT sessions. With the help of an EDT trainer uh, with visual impairment in this team who happened to be working as a disability liaison in UM, we also invited five individuals with OKU from five different types of disability and worked together with the dental lecturers. So these are the activities that have been conducted. The first is the seminars, uh, interviews with uh, the facilitators uh, who have the disability and also sign language and disability uh, simulation exercise. And lastly, the disability awareness video presentations from the students. And we match all these activities to uh, appropriate online application uh, digital tools for uh, each of the session. I would like to share with you the first EDT session where we conducted the uh, disability seminars. Uh, active participation was made possible with the use of PADEC, which uh, allows students to interact uh, in active discussion. Uh, there are many functions in uh, PADEC. <clears throat> so uh, using PADEC, uh, we ask the students to choose between two options by a simple click on their own digital screen. Uh, they can also draw their own diagrams, underline keywords, and then we, we show uh, their work uh, together and discuss with the trainers. We also conducted disability simulation exercise. If you remember that the face-to-face <clears throat> -face DET was conducted uh, uh, outside the classroom uh, because this is online. So we, we tweaked that a little bit and we asked them, the students to write their names on uh, using hands or fingers on a piece of paper or uh, any drawing app. So in the second session, we conducted a musical chair interviews with OKUs and we divided 10 to 11 students into five different groups who would then join uh, five uh, breakout uh, rooms in uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, so uh, they will, each group will join the uh, different room uh, for 15 minutes each. And in this uh, different room, we'll have different individuals or facilitators with different types of disability, uh, including learning, uh, speech, uh, physical, hearing, and lastly, vision impairment. And most of these facilitators <clears throat> were UM students with, with disabilities. And we also involved the Malaysian Federation uh, of Deaf, uh, MFD instructors because we conducted the second, uh, se second activities of uh, learning dental sign language. So uh, let's learn how to say gigi, sakit gigi, okay? Gigi, tunjuk pada gigi terus, gigi. Sakit gigi. Okay, sakit gigi. Kalau gigi itu sakit-sakit, kena tunjuk dengan ekspresi mukanya, dengan lepas itu laju, sakit. Sakit. Sangat sakit. Okey. Kalau sakit sikit sahaja, sakit tu dia sikit je. Okey. So in our third or last session, we gave each group a task to create a disability awareness video related to dental settings. Students were given two weeks to create this video in, in, the, uh, in each group and present it during this session. And these five videos were then shared in the SCD Special Care Dentistry UM YouTube channel. Uh, we, we also share this with, uh, in the uh, faculty's website and also the social media. Uh, here are some short uh, video clips. Uh, first group is from group D, portraying a person with speech impairment. And the second video um, <clears throat> uh, uh, with a patient with hearing problems.
Jangan pandang rendah dengan kebolehan pertuturan pesakit. Sebagai seorang doktor, kita perlu mengutamakan ulasan daripada pesakit. Jangan terus berkomunikasi dengan penjaga atau peneman pesakit. What? No, it's seven days. So these are the common mistakes that the dentist may have done without realizing that the attention should be given to the patient themselves and not their carer. So students learn how to handle this situation based on the uh, discussion they, they uh, did with the facilitators and also the trainers and the lecturers. What? Okay, so uh, for the pre and post EDT quiz, we distributed using a Google form. The quiz consisted of 11 MCQs and the pretest was distributed before the first EDT session and post test distributed after the final session. And the student's feedback form was distributed after the end of the uh, third session with 10 questions using five uh, point Likert scale rating from strongly disagree to strongly agree from one to five. And the four results and discussion <clears throat> the response rate uh, uh, was 90.2%, uh, uh, and <clears throat> the majority of students uh, scored higher in the post-test score, and the total mean score increased from uh, 8.02 to 9.72 in the post-test. And this proves that the students' understanding about disability increased after EDET. Overall, uh, students gave uh, either score four and five, uh, uh, which mean that they agreed and strongly agreed that EDT has increased their interest in learning about disability, has clear content, used appropriate technology and methods in delivery, uh, <coughs> in delivery and easy to follow, applicable to SED practice and well organized and structured. Apart from that, student also agreed that EDT trainer has increased their participation interest, managed to keep the sessions alive, interesting, and was very qualified and knowledgeable. So for the impact, EDT has valuable impact on the teaching and learning, which ensure continuity of teaching even during pandemic. At the same time, enable active students' participation, engagement, and interaction. And the concept of EDT is applicable for the existing DET program, such as conducted by the Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat. In terms of student learning, EDT format provides the avenue for sustainable DET teachings during this pandemic. This project also had its impact on the knowledge shared based on the videos uh, done by the students and uh, which are tar also uh, targeted to dental health professionals and not just dental students. EDT uh, uh, also, uh, we, we plan to uh, publish in the book chapters and uh, put peer review journals and also in other conferences. Uh, this project will also attempt to apply copyright of EDT uh, format and the facilities guide book. In conclusion, students perceive that a well-planned EDT has enhanced their learning experience and knowledge in disability or people disability, and we recommend that this EDT may be useful as part of ECD course for other dental schools, graduates, and healthcare professionals seeking to emulate this effort, especially during this pandemic. Uh, some challenges we face during this project, mainly due to technical problems and internet connections. Uh, however, this will resolve uh, with proper planning and constant reminder uh, with each of the uh, facilitators and also the lecturers. And limitation of this study in, uh, include limited study population and also a short term uh, evaluation. We would like to thank uh, uh, ADAC and also uh, for, for the financial support uh, from the Union Lighter. We also would like to thank um, the Faculty of Dentistry uh, staff and also students for taking part in this project. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, to uh, Dr. Mariani. Uh, very interesting uh, uh, work. And it, it is, uh, has very high impact. Um, now I would like to uh, call the uh, panel if you have a question to the uh, presenter. Assalamualaikum. Um, 
Boleh boleh saya tanya? Boleh yeah. eh? Alright, okay. Um, Dr. Mariani, it's a very good um, innovate, innovation that you have done on embracing the digital challenge during the pandemic, yeah? especially for these um, dental students. And uh, I think it was a, a very good move um, um, to move um, that 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 um, uh, that non-online to the online, especially when you mentioned on the the students um, before this, they have to do everything themselves. They have to experience. Um, uh, my question is, um, how many sections do you have for these um, dentistry students? The fifty-one students are they all yours? Uh, uh, yeah, they, they are all uh, third year clinical. They, are, okay. they just joined the clinical session, so that's I um, mean, it's a start of their before they, they go into the clinics. Uh, so that's why we introduced DET uh, before they start looking at the patients. Yeah, uh, all right. Uh, in, uh, my question was um, Do you have any other sections that are learning the same um, course? on uh, this special uh, yeah, yeah. SPC? SDC, uh, SCD, uh, S we, we, we taught from third year, fourth year, and final year. SDC, yeah? Uh, SCD. Special SCD. Special SCD. Special SCD. All right, OK. This is to, to, to have that uh, exposure to the student, how mm -hmm. to handle the um, OKUs, yeah? Yeah, yeah? All right, OK. So, so how many sections do you have in uh, that batch? Uh, in that batch, uh, one. 50, this is only 50 students. Dental students are a very small number. Okay. Yeah, All so right. Okay. only 50 for each batch. Yeah. Because I, I was wondering um, if you have the other batch we, we, that did not use the EDAC, um, uh -huh. um, what, what are the differences in terms of that, that knowledge that they uh, oh. have received? Uh, yeah, I, I, it's out whole... of curiosity. <laughs> this is the whole batch, yeah. Ah, all right, all right. Good to have it anyway, um, especially when you, you want to write papers and so on. Um, um, okay, um, another thing is, uh, I, I would like to know, what were the assessments um, before the online pandemic? Um, this is an integrated module. So therefore, um, DET is actually just a formative assessment. You're not involving any summative or continuous assessment. Um, uh, this is to prepare them before they go into the clinics. All right. I was wondering if this EDET and the DET before this, um, in terms of assessment, is there any similarities? Um, uh, the there there are the same. We we did a quiz and um, yeah, and the feedback form. That's all. All right. Uh, we, okay. We, yeah. All right. Uh, Okay, I pass it to the other panel if she has any questions. Second panel, any questions? We have two minutes left. We can't hear, sorry. You, you are muted. How many respondents were, were involved? Uh, uh, the we we this is a voluntary for the uh -huh. assessment. Uh, so uh, we got uh, about forty seven uh, uh, the quiz and also the, the feedback. We we got a different uh, number of uh, respondents, uh, about ninety percent uh, for the quiz and also the feedback form. Yeah, not not with not different about, disabilities, right? Uh, so with. Uh, the uh, the facilitators with uh, disability, our dental mm -hmm. students, they, they just uh, interview each of the facilitators. Uh, we had uh, five uh, facili uh, uh, facilitators with disability, and the students, uh, dental students, uh, interview each of these uh, facilitators during the second session. Mm. Okay. Okay. But we have, uh, okay, I have no further questions. Thank you. Thank you very much to the presenter and also to the 